Rise up in hope today. It is Monday. It is a day that we haven't seen before. I am I am patiently waiting for the order of this devotion. I I was gone about 8 days and had the most beautiful time of private care of the Lord that um, I've had in a long time. And I have so many things on my heart. It's like my, my cup is full. It's full. And so as I, as I think about and I journal all of the love that was poured out to me last week, the love of the Lord that I want to share with you. I, I just wait to see when and how. And it's so interesting because I, this morning I first, I woke up, it was, I think two 30 and I thought, ah, that's a long time to be up. And then to usually when I get up that early, I fall asleep around five 30. And, and so I had all these, I had these thoughts, but immediately I thought, no, I'm going back to sleep. And I went back to sleep. And then this morning when I got up at, I think it was 622 because it was later than I normally would get up. And I heard love sacrifices. And I mean, it was just right there, love sacrifices. So I knew that when I came down here to do Rise Up in Hope, that the title of this devotional is Love Sacrifices. So because I have had no prep, I open my Bible and I see, well, well, what? And I looked up the biblical definition. So this morning I'm going to share with you the things that I've quickly discovered. And I know it's not finished, but I'm, I'm just taking it easy. I am taking it easy. Eight days ago when God said, I want you to rest. I, um, I didn't even know that I needed rest. I, I, I felt pretty good, and yet I listened to that small, still voice say, I want you to rest, and I found gold in the hard, because it wasn't easy to um, be still. Some of us have a real easy time being still, but I... It's like I can jump in, but then when God starts to peel, I back off. This time I didn't. This time I did not back off. And and it was amazing and beautiful because every time God calls us to do something, the end result will be amazing and beautiful, even as difficult as it is. And the first three days were, were very, very hard. And um, I do believe that there's a different time that I'll share that and I'll, and I will, um, share the experience that I had. It's, but it's not right now. Right now, God says love sacrifices. And so I looked up the definition in the back of my Bible. The biblical definition of sacrifice is to offer something to God for worship or payment for sin. So the biblical definition of sacrifice is to offer something to God for worship. Maybe today somebody is on the fence about sacrificing something that means something to you. Well, this is, maybe this is exactly for you to offer something to God for worship. Why do we worship? We worship because we love God. We worship because we love him. And I looked up the definition of love because in our culture, in this world, you know, love is just thrown around. It is misunderstood. It is misdefined. It is not lust. It Love, the biblical definition of love is strong affection, desire, or devotion. Strong affection, desire, or devotion. That's what God says. And we know that that he is love. He is strong affection. He is desire and he is devotion and he is creator. So 
when he wants to love on us by giving strong affection to us, strong, uh, his desires pour out on you and his devotion, the end result is going to be gold. It is going to be, there is no price tag on that. It is costly, but it is free. I had no money to spend last week to go away, but I went and had the most beautiful healing relaxing, purging, and I'm saying all these things because it was. It was full, it was beautiful, and it was free, and it cost me nothing. It was costly because I had to step into it. And that we're going to talk about too. But if love is strong affection, desire, devotion, and sacrifices to offer something to God for worship, then God's love sacrifices, and we know that he sacrificed his only son for all those that would believe, that would receive the, the bridge to eternal life, and for those that believe, receive. And, and yes, Jesus paid the ultimate sacrifice, and we're going to read upon that. I think that's tomorrow, but for right now, the first question is, how do you sacrifice? What sacrifices do you, do you give in your day? And there are many, there are many, we all sacrifice. And I know that, you know, last week I had people praying for me and that was a sacrifice of their time to give me time in the prayer closet that God would have his weight in me. And, and I, and I want to thank you for that. I want to thank anybody who prays for anybody because that sacrifice is so beautiful. And I love to give my time as a sacrifice, not even thinking of it, but that's what I've been called to do. But you know what? While I was away with God, like day three, day two, he said, and you will not pray <laughs> this week. I was like, what? You won't intercede, which basically intercede means to pray for. It is my DNA. I love, love, love to pray. But God said, lay it down this week. And come with me to the secret place. And wow, that that's that's a whole different sharing, a whole different, <laughs> a whole different de devotional, I think. So love sacrifices. If you're a mom, you sacrifice so much for your babies. A good mom. A good mom. And and um and if you're a mom that, that knows that you don't have it in you and you give your baby up for adoption, what sacrifice does that look like? So there are sacrifices being made all day long. And one, another thing I learned this week is, you know, my journey, my story, my lane is my lane. It's not your lane. Like I share with you to encourage you to go and get your own. Go and get your own, go and get your own time with God and see what he pours out in you because he pours out on his kids. He is a loving, loving, loving father and he wants you to have everything that he has marked your name. And if I've come away from anything in these eight days is I want everything that God has for me. I want everything. There will involve sacrifice in that. I will have to give up my own thoughts, my own desires, and my own agenda for God's. Because he made me. He's got the best for me. But I have to sacrifice what I think is best for me. And I tell you, you will not go wrong if you do that with the Lord. With you, with God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and you and me, if you lay down your thoughts, your wants, your desires, and you pick up, you go to him and say, okay, how does this work? What do I do? And if you wait a little bit, if you sit a little longer than you'll, you know, than what you think, there are treasures in those places. There are treasures in those places. I wrote down, I sacrifice my wants and desires for what God wants and desires for me. Do you? That's a good question. Do you, are you willing to sacrifice what you think should be going on in your life, in your day, 
in this day? Are you willing to sacrifice that and say, God, I'm going to shelf that right now. And I am going to ask you what you have for me today. And I wonder how different those days will look. And we will only find out if we are willing to sacrifice our day for his day. And I wrote down, I choose sacrifice. I choose sacrifice. So, as we have this day today, think on the things that you already sacrifice. And not to puff yourself up and say, oh, I do this, this, and this. Ah, no. It's not about having a record of, look how good I am. Look what I do. Because really that means nothing. That, that's just a callous, shallow heart. Look at what Jesus did and see how you're lining up with him and then compare that. Because that's where the true sacrifice was. When we read on sacrifice and we see how much Jesus turned his cheek and they whipped him and they spit on him and he was doing that was part of his sacrifice journey to the cross. Gives us a lot to think about, doesn't it, friends? Love sacrifices. Love sacrifices. I love my family. They know that I'm like, whatever you want. And the times that I want to have my desires be in front, um, I can step back. I can step back and it's worth it. It is so beautiful to sacrifice and to give. So what's that, to, that um, definition of sacrifice? To offer something to God for worship. So how, what do you have to give to God today, right now? And it could be just, God, I love you. I'm learning every day about you. And you are awesome. So I just want to say thank you. And that's a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And that's where we start. God, we love you. God, I thank you so much for living inside of me and having me come away with you and have private God care and having you fill me up with so much love that I just want to pour it out, pour it out and share. Help me to know when, how, help me to stay still if I'm supposed to stay still. God, I, I, <laughs> I just want to do it your way. I want to walk with you step by step, moment by moment today. I don't want to race in front of you. And I don't want to lag behind. I want to be right with you, God, because in your presence is the fullness of peace, the fullness of joy, the fullness of life. I'm here to live God wants his children, if you are a child of God, he wants you to live today. He wants you to get rid of your burdens today. He wants you to give his him the burdens. Jesus says, my yoke is easy. The burden is light. I can take care of it. And then let go and, and unchain your hands from grabbing it back. Because some of us will put it there, but then we'll go, oh, but I got to do this. Like the move, I got to be, I got to do something. Well, I am here to testify. <laughs> when God says, you don't have to do one thing. You don't have to do one thing, friends. Let him show you that. In Jesus' name, amen. See you tomorrow.